first of all, true American heroes. Two gave their life today, responding to calls of assistance out of a potential domestic situation. Both officers gave their life for the protection of others. Those are true American heroes. As Mr. Collinsworth said, our Westerville family, our Westerville community, will rally around the immediate families of these officers who were slain in the line of duty. I'm confident that our staff will take them under their wings and do everything possible for the families. As far as the situation, we received a 911 call at 12.02 this afternoon. An officer responded on a hang-up call. At 12.10, the officers arrived on the scene. As they went into the, the apartment, they were immediately met with gunfire. Both officers were shot. Officer Joy passed away on the scene. Officer Morello was transported to the hospital where he later passed away. I also want to thank all of the agencies that have helped us out, that have supported us here at the police department and in this investigation. The Columbus Police Department will be handling the, the investigation. They are currently on the scene processing the shooting scene. We have already received, and the family should know, we've received condolences and pledges of support from all of the United States already. These were two of the best we had. This was their calling. And they did it right. They knew how to do policing the right way, both of them. As I said, both gave their life for protection of others, and that's what they lived and breathed. Again, I thank God, everybody for everything they've done for our division. I ask that you keep the families of Officer Jordan and Morelli in your prayers. And all other law enforcement public safety officers in the United States. They risk their lives every single day. This is evident of that. We will miss both of these officers. because they were pillars in our department. They were the ones people went to. They served in so many different capacities with us, both officers, and were always willing to go above and beyond to help out new recruits, to help out the organization in any way they could. They dedicated, literally dedicated their life to our organization, our city, and our citizens. And I ask you again to keep them in your prayers. Thank you. Officer Dwayne perished at the scene. Officer Morelli passed away at OSU Hospital. The groups that we've been thinking about and helping over these past 24 hours, of course, have been the families of both officers. funeral arrangements with both families uh, over the course of the next few days and we'll keep you informed as to what those arrangements are. As importantly, we've been working with our rest of our family. Of course, our staff here, our firefighters who on the scene did a fantastic job. Thank you to our firefighters and our paramedics for everything they've done in this incident. And then when I look at our staff, they're the hidden heroes, the communications techs, 
the ones that handle the call, that are talking to the officers while these incidents are going on. Our records and evidence techs that process the evidence coming in after situations like this. <laughs> Last night we had a division meeting with our staff just to assist in processing this. And as you can imagine, it was quite emotional. But we will get through this. Our folks will take the families under our wings and we will make sure that they are taken care of tremendously. I would like to thank our city staff for everything they've done for everybody in this incident. I also have to really thank all the regional police departments that, that have been involved in this. The Columbus team that's investigating this murder of two officers. They were diligent in their investigation to ensure that we get a prosecution. To all the other departments, the departments that serve on the critical incident response team that came here and processed with our folks last night. Over time, over the next 48 hours, our citizens are going to see different cruisers in the city of Westerville. You're going to see cruisers from Dublin, Hilliard, Upper Arlington, Genoa Township, Otterbein, Columbus, Franklin County, Blendon Township, all patrolling our streets to give our folks a break and time to process that. One thing I do want to address in a, in a situation like this, it's, it's even hard to talk about this. We should be honoring these two officers right now. Not illicitly trying to profit off of the officers' deaths. And we have seen fake GoFundMe pages established already. We have people calling our radio room, screaming threats, obscenities, and vulgarities at our radio texts. And quite frankly, there's a special place in hell for those people. And my wish is that it comes very soon. Thank you. We will not take any questions, but thank you. We'll keep you posted on where we're at with arrangements, but please understand this is a very tough time for the family, and we're working with the families to get funeral arrangements completed, and um, we'll keep everyone posted.